Hello, I'm Don Smith and I live in Piqua and I have a really exciting program to talk to you today about. We are going to be doing an immersive tour of Piqua. In a moment, I'll explain to you what immersive is. But in the meantime, let me talk to you a little bit about how we came to this point. Uh, about a year ago, my wife and I were fortunate enough to be on a river cruise in Europe and we uh, would stop at ports. And every time we stopped at a port, we would be given a tour of the community, the local community there. It was really an exciting thing. And each time we came back to the uh, riverboat, I would say to my wife, well, why don't we do something like that in Piqua? There are so many really neat things going on in Piqua and we don't seem to ever get that news out. So after having gone out on four or five of those tours and coming back and every time reiterating, why aren't we doing it in Piqua? Pretty soon she looked at me and she said, well, if you think we ought to do it in Piqua, why don't you get it started? So that's how this all came to be. Um, on July the 27th, this year, we're going to inaugurate our first tour. The first tour will be an immersive tour of the community, meaning that we will be going to a wide range of places, both historical and current, and talking about the exciting things that occur in Piqua. Now this, is, this tour is primarily for people out of the area who will be taking bus tours uh, maybe one day trips and so forth and coming to the community. But before we start doing that in 2024, we're going to be having a couple of tours in 2023. First, to fine tune our situation and secondly, to allow local people to take the tour because the tour requires a bus and it requires a minimum of 30 people. So these first couple of tours that we're going to be doing will be for local people and then they can give advice to me on what uh, needs to change as far as the uh, actual tours that will start in 2024 for people who are outside our area. <clears throat> now this immersive tour starts at our local Comfort Inn at 9 a.m. and at that point there will be a, a short in, induction of what we're going to, introduction of what we're going to do and um, then we will board a bus and begin our journey. The journey will take us past several historic landmarks, getting us ultimately out to the Johnson Farm. Uh, the Johnson Farm, by the way, has recently been uh, renovated and it's an amazing place to see. If you as a local have not been out there since the renovation, this would be a perfect opportunity to do that. The Johnson Farm house will be open and uh, there will be a docent there who will talk about the Johnston Farm and about the uh, surrounding buildings there. Once that's completed, we'll move on to the uh, museum that's out there and our participants will have the opportunity to go through the museum and then walk down to the canal boat and take a canal boat ride. So our first major part of our tour is the Johnston Farm uh, and including the canal boat. Once everything is concluded there, we'll get back on our bus and the bus will take us back into Piqua. We're going to be going down Forest Avenue and we'll be talking about the Hans Pavilion. I know that currently it's uh, in a state that needs repair and I know that it is also one of two or three in our country like it and I know that there are people in our community who are trying to save it and I think bringing a spotlight to that will be a, a plus. So we will talk about the Hans Pavilion, we'll also be talking about the Chautauqua that occurred there initially um, and all that went on at the, at the park there. Then we're going to be going up Park Avenue Hill, we'll spend a little bit of time in the bus talking about the uh, mansion on, on uh, the top of Park Avenue Hill and then We'll be going on over to Sunset and down across to the Hartzell Propeller Company where we'll be talking about the history of the Hartzells and the rights as uh, partners, actually, or friends, uh, next door neighbors uh, in the Dayton area who ultimately got us making propellers in Piqua, Ohio. That'll be kind of an interesting little conversation and then we're gonna move over to the Pitsenbarger Park and talk about William Pitsenbarger. Pitsenbarger, is uh, of course a local hero 
a guy that graduated from Piqua High School and worked at Kroger's and uh, saved a significant number of lives and unfortunately lost his in that process. Uh, the movie, The Last Full Measure, is out. Uh, it's a great movie about that, and we'll be talking about that as we take the tour. Once we complete all that, we'll be getting back on the bus and we're gonna drive down to uh, Main Street. There are several things that we're gonna talk about on the way down to Main Street, but finally, we'll be at the Crooked Handle where we are anticipating having lunch. Uh, lunch is included as part of the tour. It's part of the price that is paid to take the tour. And once we complete that, we'll walk past Lock 9. Lock 9 is going to have their ribbon cutting here in the next few uh, days and they're going to start significant construction there so we can talk a little bit about that. The Edison building on the corner where our first light plant was located and then walk across over to Winans and then up to the Gentilly statue. Talk about all the statuary in the um, downtown main area and then go into the Fort Piqua Plaza, one of our best treasures, where a docent-led tour will be given there. Once a, that is all completed, <clears throat> the uh, guests will come back out and they will then disperse into five groups. And these groups will each have a choice of one place to go for a one hour immersive uh, project. Uh, first, uh, one option would be to go to the Winans building and take a tour of the chocolate factory. The other ones will include the uh, lemon meringue, uh, also Piqua Arts Council, Apple Tree Gallery, Dobo's Bakery. They all are one hour experiences that you will have in one of those places. Then we will all meet again at the Schmidlap Free Library. And at that point, have a little bit of a sit down, enjoy some time, have something to drink, and then get on the bus again and this time go through the Piqua Caldwell Historic District. That's a district that I think a lot of people don't really know the background of. Uh, we are a nationally recognized district, not regional, not statewide, but nationally recognized. And we'll talk about why that is, and we'll also have the opportunity to go through a beautiful redone home, which is almost like a museum. It's absolutely perfect proper draping, proper furniture, uh, and guests will be permitted to walk through and appreciate that home, get back on the bus, do the rest of the historic tour, ending at St. Paul, where we will have a short presentation and some entertainment, and along with a nice dinner that will be prepared by uh, the chef of, uh, from Edison. So it's a I'm calling it immersive because it starts at nine in the morning and it concludes at about seven or 7.30 in the evening. So it's a pretty uh, active day, but it's a day of a lot of interesting and exciting things. Now, how do you get to take the tour? Well, the first thing to do is sign up and you can do that one of two ways. Number one, you can see Lorna at Main Street Piqua. She is, by the way, uh, my boss, so to speak, on this tour. She's the person who is working with me to get this accomplished. And she has tickets available. They are $50. That includes all the uh, admissions. It also includes uh, both meals. So it's a heck of a good price. And um, we are excited to offer that to local people. Now, when the tour is actually done in 2024, the ticket price is going to be $110 per person. Uh, and that will include some stipends for some of the people who are helping us. This time, our local community is pretty much donating all of the things that, the, that will be happening, except the actual meals and the bus. So um, we're able to do it a little bit less expensively. If you have any interest in PICWA and would like to have more information about that, please contact uh, Lorna or you can contact me. I'm Don Smith and my phone number is 937-214-0848. That's 937-214-0848. Give me a call. I'll be happy to talk to you about the tour and I will be happy to sell you a ticket. The tickets are $50 and they are limited. We can only take 30 people on our bus. So if uh, you would like to do that, don't wait, sign up. 
we'll be happy to have you included. And as a first time traveler with our tour, you can help us by giving additional advice of things we might wanna do differently when we're actually charging the $110. So uh, please don't hesitate, give us a call, 937-214-0848 or call Lorna at Main Street Piqua. Thanks, I hope you will join us on this really interesting immersive tour of Piqua.